Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Pet Battle World Quests. Today we are in Suramar, right outside the Crimson Thicket Flight Path. Just over off to the left, you will come to the catacombs. Apparently, there are catacomb pests. Pet, pets, pests. Pet pests. But we have to dispatch. Now I haven't done this encounter before, so it should be pretty exciting. Alright, so we walk right in, and apparently there are a lot of bone spiders, tenebrous snakes, just crawling around, and the actual boss is this ancient catacomb eggs. Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure who I'm going to use. Let's see. Eggs. So it's probably a beast. Best bet is machines. Good old cog blade raptor should work. Followed up with clockwork gnome. And I don't usually need a third pet, but if I do, I'm gonna go with... Let's pick something. Dark Moon Tonk. Ta-da! And moves are looking good. Okay, let's see what we are going up against. Three pets. First one is an epic ancient catacomb spider. Second is a flying pet, catacomb bat. Third is another beast, catacomb snake. The other two pets are rare. This is different, but still looks kind of fun. Let's see, check out their attacks. Strange thing, when I right click the first time, I can't show in pet drone, but the second time I can. What is this? Okay, skitter, normal attack, call darkness, and burrow. I think he's gonna start with call darkness to blind. All pets are blinded, 50% reduced healing. And burrow, underground for one attack, and come up the next turn for damage. But he's going to use Skitter most of the time. So you probably want a humanoid to go up against it. I have Cogblade Raptor though, so let's see. He's going to start with Cold Darkness. I'll apply Exposed Wounds. There it is. Now next turn, he's probably going to go underground with Burrow, but I'm faster, so I can hit him first. Wow, he's got a speed of 329. So, you might have a slower pet. You'll want to use exposed wounds and then maybe something else to prepare for the upcoming burrow attack. Now what did he do that round? Did he attack me? He didn't burrow. Let's try again. I wasn't really paying attention. Well, oh well, he didn't burrow. And he's dead now. Next is Catacomb Bat. What does he got? Hawkeye increases crit chance. That kind of hurts. So he's going to use that first. Deals flying damage and increases the damage he takes by 25%. So it's a hard hitting attack with a drawback. And bite he can use in the meantime. So Hawkeye, re Reckless Strike, and then bite if Reckless Strike is on cooldown and Hawkeye is still active. So he's going to buff with Hawkeye and attack with Reckless Strike. Uh huh. I should be able to get one hit in. And of course he is faster than me because he's a flying pet. Okay. And I'm not totally dead now. Oh, and here's something for you. You know that Reckless Strike is coming in. He's going to be taking a bit more extra damage. So when that comes up, prepare a hard hitting attack for him. That way, well, he'll be sorry. 488. See, there's that crit buff he applied to himself. Hawkeye. I think I'll take out Dark Moon Tonk. Let's see what he's got. Uh, let's see, Ion Cannon recharge for two rounds. Shock and Awe is always a good one. And he didn't refresh Hawkeye. He just went Reckless Strike. Okay, and his speed is 244 when his passive is up. But look at that. He was stunned, so he was swapped out. So I guess this is just treated as a trainer battle. Interesting. Okay. Well, Catacomb Snake is weak against machine attacks. Will this take him out when he hits? Almost. So I'll hit him with Missile first. I uh, might have wanted to look at his abilities first. Well, he's got Blinding Poison attack. What is it? Blinding Poison, four round cooldown. Reduces my hit chance for 100% for one round. Considered blinded and poisoned. Puncture Wound deals damage and deals double if the target's poisoned. Uh oh. 
And as I just said, Blinding Poison counts as poisoned. Four round cooldown on both abilities, and he'll just use Vicious Fang, which increases each time it's used. Uh, I have reduced hit chance, so I can't do anything but pass. Okay, uh, should be able to finish him off with Missile and Ion Cannon. There we go. See, both his other abilities have a four round cooldown. Uh huh, and see ya. That might have been a bad move on my part because now he gets two free turns with the Catacomb Bat. But, well, he's only got 68 health left. So, well, sucks to be him. And there we go, extra damage. Blam. That was easy. Even for something I've not done before, that's awesome. Plus, I gotta mark Flawless Battlestone. Let's choose the recipient. Uh, let's go down here. I have them sorted by level and then rarity. Well, rarity and then level. Let's see. So, I have any of these. Mmm, Skyhorn Nestling. Nestling. <laughs> There's it. There he is. Okay, you get this. Have fun. Alright. This has been the Pet Battle World Quest against Ancient Catacomb Eggs. If you liked this video, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Next time, I have got the Omnitron Defense System in Stormheim. It's a unique battle, which is a lot of fun. It operates, well, unlike any other battle so far. I like it. Alright, till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.